Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prof. Vigent. Happy day before Thanksgiving, everybody. Now it's time to make some dip for appetizers. Now, to do that, we want to have some really nice leafy greens mixed into our dip. But to make this something that'll taste good, survive in the fridge for several days, and not be a watery mess, we have to go back to our friend, water activity, to figure out what that says about how water migrates within a food. As was mentioned in our previous video about water activity, most raw fruits and vegetables have a water activity that is very high, about 0.98, 0.99, very close to one. And water activity isn't just about food preservation. It also tells us something about how water migrates within and between foods. At equilibrium, the water activity will be equal every place within the food. Now that doesn't tell us how quickly this happens. This happens more rapidly. That is, we attain the point where water activity is equal in all parts of the food more rapidly as the driving force is increased. So what's the driving force? The driving force is greatest for the greatest difference in water activity. So take, for example, this salt, which should have a water activity of approximately zero. There's just no water there. The water activity of the air itself is equal to its relative humidity. And that means when it's humid out, water will move from the air into the salt leading to something you may have experienced if you've ever tried to use the salt shaker that's on the table at an outdoor restaurant. Not much comes out. You have to give it a good bang to get everything unstuck. That salt didn't get wet because they were irresponsible. That salt got wet because it literally pulled water straight out of the air. In fact, we could use this very insight to harvest water from the air so we could drink it. As you can see in this time lapse, water will move from our big juicy leaf into the salt rather rapidly. Skipping to the end, we can see places where the salt is positively shiny with moisture that has been pulled out of the leaf. In the case of our veggie dip, that'll mean we'll have little pure water pockets around where the greens are in the otherwise yummy mayonnaise and sour cream. Blah. I should note, this takes time to happen equilibrium isn't instant. So if you were going to eat the dip in the next five seconds, no problem. It's because we need it to last till tomorrow. The easiest way to remove water from our greens is to use heat. And we can see this is pretty successful pretty quickly. Just look at all that steam. While our cooking did not bring the water activity down to dry, it did bring it down to the same range as the mayonnaise and the sour cream. So probably around 0.95 or so. Bring it all together, and ta-da! We have lovely and non-watery veggie dip. Thanks, water activity. Thanks for watching.